Now, those of you who enjoy the occasional trip to a West End theatre will know that they can be a bit of a rabbit warren. Most of the old theatres are heritage buildings, which brings a lot of charm, but perhaps not always so much comfort. That's why there's a bit of a buzz in Soho around the first new build West End theatre in more than 50 years. Alex Isaac went to check it out. Choosing which show to go to just got a bit harder as a new theatre is readying to open its doors in the West End. At Soho Place is the first to be built in Soho in 50 years, offering a different experience. Well, we have this wonderful range of West End theatres, beautiful with great shows, but they are built to be for senior marches. And so talking to the creatives, the top theatre makers, directors and writers, um, what we wanted to do was to offer a different experience, one that could add to the mix of the West End. The brand new theatre is part of a wider development, reinvigorating Soho. And this street will become a mini plaza and will be named Soho Place, the first place in Soho to have a brand new street name in 72 years. And you know, outside now you have this lovely place to meet if you're meeting up with friends to go out either for the day in the West End in central London or indeed hopefully you're coming to our theatre or indeed any other. Theatre land was left in the dark during Covid with closures and cancelled shows but as people have returned the spotlight is shining once again on the West End. Is there has been a real demand, almost a pent-up demand for people to return to live experience Theatre Land was hit really badly through Covid. We all had to close down. It, it was scarring, really. And a lot of people have had two terrible years across the country. So now it's time to go back into the, into the world again and have a good time. The curtain will raise at Soho Place in autumn and everyone is invited. Alex Isaac, ITV News.